Hey Math Kids, today we're going to talk about shape, um, and let's just talk in general for a second. So a curve is concave down, so it's concave down, when the second derivative is less than or equal to zero. So basically second derivative is negative. And then concave up. when the second derivative is greater than or equal to zero. So once again, when it's positive. Okay, so it says find intervals where the curve is concave up or concave down for both these functions. Okay, so the first thing is we just need to find the second derivative. So find the first derivative, we get 6x squared minus 6x plus 4. Then we take the derivative of that, and we get 12x minus 6. And then we, um, if we want to, we can factor it. We don't really need to, though. Um, we set this equal to 0. Six. 6 is equal to 12x, divide by 12, divide by 12, and so 1 half equals x. We do our sine diagram at 1 half, so I'm going to choose 0 and 1. If I plug in 0 here, 0 minus 6 is going to give us a negative answer. If I plug in a 1, 12 minus 6 is going to give us a positive answer. And so, um, So remember this is the second derivative. So this is gonna to correspond to concave down and this is concave up. And so um, we just say um, when x is greater than or equal to 1 half, we're concave up. When x is less than or equal to 1 half, we're concave down. Okay, this one we need to use the quotient rule. Um, which is going to be a mess. So, okay. So I'm going to call this A or U and this V. So U prime is going to be 2x minus 5. V prime is going to be 1. And then if we plug that all into the quotient rule, we can find the first derivative, which is 2x minus 5. Okay, now if this one doesn't really matter because distributing the one. So I'll distribute the negative here. So negative x squared plus 5x minus 4. And then we'll distribute here 2x squared um, minus 6x minus 5x plus 15. OK. So if we combine these, we just get x squared. If we combine. Uh, let's see, those cancel, and we just get negative 6x. And then this and this are going to be positive 11. Okay, that's the first derivative. We need the second derivative, though. So um, I'm going to call this u, call this v, u prime, v prime. We're just using quotient rule again. Um, so u prime is going to be 2x minus 6 v prime is going to be 2, rewrite the inside, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside, which we don't really need for that one. And then if we write the quotient rule for that, we're going to get 2x minus 6, x minus 3 quantity squared, minus 
x squared minus 6x plus 11. And then 2 times x minus 3. OK. And that's all over x minus 3 squared squared, which is really just going to be a 4. OK. Now notice how all of the terms, so like this, this, and this all have an x minus 3 in them. So we can get rid of one of the x minus 3s. So this, this will become a 3. That'll go away, and we'll be left with one of those. Um, after this, we just need to distribute. So we're going to get uh, 2x squared minus 6x minus 6x plus 18. Um, I'm going to take this 2 and this negative, so I'll distribute a negative 2 to all of this. So negative 2x squared plus 12x uh, minus 22. And then I have x minus 3 cubed on the bottom. All right, this and this cancel. Um, negative 6x, negative 6x positive 12, that all cancels. And then that's just going to be negative 4. All right, this is our second derivative. Finally got there. Now, if we set the second derivative equal to 0, um, this will come up here. And we see that there's no roots, because it's just going to say negative 4 is equal to 0. But we can't have x equal to 3 on the bottom, so there is a vertical asymptote that's created. And so I'm just going to choose 0 and 4 to plug in. If I plug in 0, the bottom is going to be negative. The top is always negative, so negative negative makes positive. And then if I plug in a 4, that's going to be positive, and so those together make a negative. So this is going to be up, this is going to be down, and so we say, and because it's an asymptote, we're going to say x is less than 3, not less than or equal to. We get concave up, x is greater than 3, we get concave down. That's everything for this video. If you need additional help, please come to Math Lab. Until then, calculator.